Kimber booth and we're going to talk about some of our brand new wheel guns for 2020. So we have two four inch barreled K6S DASs. So they're still going to be that same frame size. They're going to still be that same cylinder size. So these guys are 357 and they're still six shot. Um, but in that same kind of smaller envelope, we've got now a four inch barrel. So this particular model, we've got two, this is our target model. So it's gonna feature that fiber optic red front sight and adjustable rear. This adjustable rear sight is blacked out and serrated, which is a great sight picture for those of you who might compete. And it still retains that same phenomenal trigger. This trigger weight at a single action is anywhere between three and a half, four and a half pounds. And then our double action, that smooth as silk double action trigger is gonna hover anywhere between nine and 11 pounds. Now, both of these models feature this walnut checkered grip. This is more of a boot grip on our target model. But our combat model here, a little bit more of a hardworking uh, variety of this four inch barrel gun is got our finger grooves on the face of that grip there and then for the sights it's a dovetail white dot sight setup so we are super proud of all of our wheel guns um, and we just look forward to continue to grow the program we started with a two inch barrel moved up to three last year and here we are at four please keep your eyes and ears peeled for any new updates to this family Hello, this is Paul Spitale here at the SHOT Show booth at the Colt booth. I'm a senior vice president at Colt Manufacturing. I want to show you something really interesting from our company, our brand new King Cobra. For those of you who are familiar, was we reintroduced the Cobra back in almost 18 months ago. We had a tremendous success with the original Cobra. The original Cobra design did some real unique things. We opened up the trigger guide for the consumer. Also did some things that we did in our traditional Colt all of our cylinders rotate in a clockwise fashion like all Colts, so they lock up super nice and the actions are really tight. One of the things we wanted to improve upon though with the 357 round, knowing that the King Cobra was gonna go to 357, we added another inch in the barrel, so we went from the two inch barrel structure to a three inch barrel. Gives a tremendous amount of balance in the revolver. It also makes it for very nice shooting and it keeps the gun shooting flat. We had it out at the industry day. We shot over 2,000 rounds on one gun. Everybody seemed to love shooting it and uh, it's very soft shooting. The other thing we did is we appointed it with a nice hold grip, very soft shooting. Helps manage felt recoil, but it also helps you control the revolver. One of the simple little things that we did in the pistols, we actually, the revolver, is we lengthen the trigger guard. It gives you a bit of a mechanical advantage. It also helps you get leverage on the trigger and pull it straight back. It's one of the reasons that it seems like it's such a smooth action when you pull it. The real, real beauty of this gun, though, falls down into the leaf spring. We use the similar leaf spring that we've used in the past, like with pythons. We've trapped it in such a way, it's a consistent, repeatable uh, trigger. It breaks really crisply. Anyone who's ever tried it said it's one of the nicest double action triggers, certainly the nicest double action trigger that Colt's ever put on a double action revolver. Okay, this product is also used some of the same markings we've had in the past, uh, like in the old King Cobras, and we've taken some heritage from that. Hey, Joe here again from SHOT Show 2018. I'm holding here the new Ruger SP-101, 9mm. This is their new model. I've owned, I actually own one of these, a 357 Magnum, and I love it. It's a beefy revolver. It's heavy. It's going to last forever. All right? One of the nice things they've done here is they've tweaked this thing for concealed carry, and they've actually chamfered the cylinder so it makes it fit in the holster a whole lot nicer. All right? 
9 millimeter it takes a moon clip so it's a fast reload pop your shells out just drop another moon clip in and you're back in business all right without further ado we'll go ahead and put some rounds down range It's about what you'd expect from a 9mm revolver. It's got a little bit of muzzle rise, but it doesn't give you any pain at all at the hand. These grips really help absorb a lot of that recoil, all right, which is standard SP-101. Definitely going to give it two thumbs up. Here we have the Charter Arms Off-Duty. This little revolver is chambered in 38 Special, and it is a snub nose revolver that is perfect for just dropping into my pocket in a sticky holster and walking around. And in fact, I've been known to carry this little gun even in my gym shorts or sweatpants around my house, trying to be as comfortable as possible. The little grip is interchangeable, so you can get a, will accommodate a pinky finger uh, it can be a little bit of a hand cannon to hold on to. But for the most part, this is a great little concealed carry gun. The trigger is very long and very hard to pull. Let's take a look at how it shoots on the range. Here we have the Smith & Wesson 627 Performance Center. This is a 8-shot 357 Magnum revolver. I will leave a card up in the upper corner where you can watch my recent review that I just did on this specific revolver. This is my hiking gun. This is what I use whenever I am out hiking in the woods in the Appalachian Mountains, because I do live in Black Bear territory. 357 Magnum with a hard cast bullet, I believe is more than sufficient to take out a black bear. Of course, I would rather not have to use it, but being that it also has eight shots of 357 Magnum, it will do the job against a two-legged predator or a four-legged predator. Now let's take a look at how this gun shoots. <laughs> 